Welcome to how to build your first bot and a dialogue task with Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through the process of building a bot, including naming your bot, creating a dialogue task, and analyzing debug logs, as well as session context. Hello and welcome back. In this video, let's make our first bot. To make the bot, first click on the new bot button and let's create a standard bot. The first activity you have to do here is to name the bot. The name of the bot has to be unique from a global contact. So make sure you name it uniquely and that the name doesn't clash with anything else that's in the bot store or with something else uh, someone else is building. So let's call this the training bot. And at this moment, uh, let's ignore the other option here for whether it's a general a public bot or an enterprise bot. We will see the details of that eventually. We can add a color scheme to the bot and click create. So what you've done here is just created the shell of the bot. Uh, you can always go back to the settings tab here and the general settings and rename the bot if you want to change it. But mind you, this is only possible as long as you have not published the bot. So during active development, you can keep changing the name of the bot. Um, you could also additionally go back to the settings and change the color theme, add a more verbose description, and also add an icon, which may be more uh, more useful for people to discover the bot, and it's also the icon that shows up when you're actually talking to the bot. So let's save this and go to the task tab and create the first task in this bot create a task you can click on the create new task link and let's start by creating a dialogue so this is the uh, so we'll just build a hello world task uh, essentially this bot will ask you for your name and then greet you back with your name uh, so let's call this say hello so that's the name of the first task we are building here and so now you are in the dialogue editor so the few things you have to notice here so the, the by default the intent uh, of this task is the first node here and you can double click on the node to get the details of the node so the whole idea of the dialogue editor here is to build a complete workflow of dialogue or conversation using nodes and by connecting nodes and each of those nodes will have properties. Uh, the connections are what are the outbound connections from each of the nodes. And the component properties are again some basic things like name of the node. So in this case, it's an intent. And what's the name? You can additionally add a description. And then there's the whole NLP training details, which we will get into eventually in a different uh, video. So let's ask uh, let's add a entity node so the idea here is once you activate this intent the bot should ask you to uh, enter your name so you're asking for an entity you're asking the user to enter an entity so let's create a new entity and call it uh, name and let's keep it as type string there are um, different other task types here or entity types here we'll pick one link we'll just go with the string and the prompt here is what is your name Let's create so at this point the bot will ask you for your name right and now let's respond with a message so this is the other node type of a message and every node that you build has to have a name and this name is kind of like a placeholder or a reference uh, for the bot uh, for you to access different information from that node programmatically so let's call it the hello response and here the response is hello context dot entities dot name so the context is a global variable 
and from the context we want to find the entities and we are finding the entity called as name so that was the name of the entity that we created previously when you were prompted for your name so we click create and save it now let's uh, test this out let's talk to the bot uh, let's activate the intent by saying say hello the bot wakes up and asks you what is your name i'll say my name is john let's say says hello john so the bot understood that when i say hello it's the name of the tag so it's activating this intent it asked me for the name i responded back and it I responded back with the greeting let's also look at a couple of things here this is the debug window and we can see the series of execution here right so let me activate this once again so clear the trace log and you can see that the intent was matched to say hello the entity name is being processed and it's now waiting for user input and you can see that now the tracing has proceeded to the next node which is hello response it's processing it's been processed and at the end of it it's done with that with this dialogue let's also look at the context so context like i mentioned is a global object where all the uh, context level variables or the um, execution variables are stored so within context you have the name of the bot so at any moment you want to access the the name of the current bot you can look at the context and get it so there's a bunch of things at the root level in the context then there is a um, sub object called as entities which has the entity name in this case had we had multiple entities they would all show up as different uh, entries here and it also has the value assigned to it um, then there's a bunch of other variables under the session context which will be explored in a later session and um, we, this is just an introduction to understand that all the context variables are used here are available here and we can explore them as we test the bot so once the bot is built we can click exit and we'll see the bot uh, the task in the list of tasks that the bot can now do now you can again activate it here and say okay list tasks and now the bot says oh here are the tasks i can perform for you also notice that i can do some of the basic small talk conversation with the bot you can say hi and the bot says hi uh, can I say, who are you i'm training bot right so some of the basic conversations that you would expect out of a bot like this it's already built into the platform into the system and i can say say hello to me or right. can you even ask you can you say hello to me what is your name my name is john hello john so that's our first bot